and welcome to Rose Play, Season 11, Episode 70. As always, I'm your host, Orin Moon Rose, and today we'll be doing a Rose Play Celebrates. So, yeah, this one got kind of weird. Instead of just celebrating one thing like we normally do, we're going to celebrate three things. Now, two of those reasons are because they hit it about the same time, and then the third one because, well, then a few of you others may be confused about what the other side is. So, I reached 25 subscribers on YouTube and 25 followers on VidMe. And so then people are like, well, what's VidMe? And that's what the second part's going to be, is about what my thoughts on VidMe are. But first, let's focus on part one. Like the title said when it flashed by, was 25 subs on YouTube. Wow. I don't even remember when we got 10 at this point. It's been a while. And we have grown slowly. And I really don't mind that. I would rather have people who watch my content than people who just subs subscribe to me and leave it there. Oh, we're never going to watch them again, so on and so forth. So to the 25 people, I know it's a bit more now and a little late, but we're going to those 25 who know that they subscribe to me. The rest of you leading up to 50, when I do hit 50, I will be thanking you guys as well. But I would like to thank the 25 subscribers that have stuck with me, chose to subscribe to me, and watch my content. To you guys, I couldn't do this without you. So, what do I have in store here on YouTube? I, I really don't know, honestly. And that, that's what part two is going to go into a bit with, with VidMe. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love you guys on YouTube. I still enjoy using YouTube. And I'm going to continue. I'm not going to stop that. But, really, as we've seen from 10 subscribers up to... 50, I've changed the format quite a bit. We went from just having three special episodes, linking on to them, to whatnot now. Now the seasons are congruent. Uh, sometimes I play seasons in between seasons if it gets too long. I will probably continue that. The special episodes might be connected to the seasons, but they are going to be whenever I can get them out. Do they take a little bit more work? And I'm going to continue to try to buy more games. So, what can I promise the 25 subscribers plus here on YouTube? I can promise you that for right now, being that it is also the third year anniversary of Rose Play existing, that we will now have four Let's Plays of a game every week instead of three. Just like the year before, we went up to two. Now, will I always be able to get them out? I hope so, but if the weather gets bad, internet turns off, we'll have to see. I'm going to try my best for you guys. So, thank you guys once again. I am proud that you guys have subscribed to me. I will try to keep up my content. I will continue to try to be funny, even though sometimes I don't feel that I am funny. But I will at least continue to play the hard games, and my co-host, Saul Wildfire, will continue to be in on all the excitement. So, with that out of the way, let's move on to VidMe. My thoughts about it, what I think about it, uh, what I think about the community, just a mixture of everything. So, let's move on into VidMe. Well, first off, to the VidMe people, hello, VidMe. <laughs> um, I'd say nice to meet you, but you've seen me for like 11 seasons now. So, yeah, that's, that's out the window. But for the rest of you, you're thinking to yourself, what is vid.me? Well, most people just call it VidMe. Uh, the people on there are Vidzians, Vidians, something around there. So, what can I say that has not been said by every other content creator that's on VidMe about VidMe? Nothing, really. 
So I'm going to go through the motions of what everybody tells everybody about VidMe. First of all, what is VidMe? VidMe is simply a video platform service who is trying to rival YouTube. Uh, as of late, they've gotten paid advertisements. They're trying to get ads. Uh, you can tip. So they're, they're trying to compete with YouTube on every sense of the word. But they're trying to focus more on the small creators. They do, still do focus on the big creators because everybody is equal. We all have to start out somewhere. So there's that part. Now, why do I like VidMe? I like VidMe for one major reason right now, and that is the fact that my content gets out there. I don't, I don't really care about the getting famous or being well-known or being popular uh, when it comes to VidMe like some people do. I am just out to be a content creator, and VidMe is a good place for that so far. And, uh... January, February, March, April, May, June, July. In about the six and a half month period that I have been on VidMe, I have gotten 7,122 views. How many of those people have actually watched all my videos is a different story. But at, at least people see my content out there. It's not as saturated right now. And I am happy about that. Because I don't care if I get the upvotes. I don't care if I... Uh, I guess I'll vote his likes. I don't care if I get the followers. I appreciate every follower I get. As long as my content is being watched by one person per day, and I do mean my newer video that I put up, then I am honestly happy. As for YouTube, I've been on there for almost three years with about 4,000 views. Now, don't get me wrong. Those 4,000 views have been amazing. But VidMe seems to have really picked it up there fast within a six-month span. Now, where they become saturated and whatnot over time, that is a possibility. Uh, could I get more well-known? I, I suppose. So, then, what kind of people watch VidMe? That's a hard one to say. Right now, VidMe is a smaller community. So, it's hard to really say who does and doesn't watch VidMe. It seems like right now that most of the people that watch VidMe are also content creators, the few people who have uh, come in from other sources who are just watchers, as we'll call them. Now, I've gotten some good um, big YouTubers that have come over to VidMe. Uh, most notable is Ask a Gangsta. But there is so many good people on VidMe, at least when it comes to the content creation. Now, there are always all rumors going on about the community. Uh, there's drama. I try to mostly stay out of that. That's me. Now, to the people at VidMe, and I don't quite mean the people who made VidMe. Um, I mean the community as well. But let's start with, with the creators who create VidMe first. They actually do try to care about your problems. I mean, they've got a lot going on. They've got thousands of users, so they can't always get to everything at one time. They can't do everything at one time. But what they do get done, what they do talk to you about, I have really liked hearing from the other creators. So, good job there. Now, as for the community, you may be wondering if you're watching this, well, Orion, why don't you communicate with us more? Why don't you get in there and, and joke with us or talk to us. Well, there's a few reasons for that. My major one is my anxiety and social disorder. Well, I don't know if it's a disorder, but that's what I'm going to call it. I have issues socializing sometimes. I've talked with a few of the people on VidMe, uh, the community, about it. I have problems branching out. I, I can talk very much, as, as you've all might have noticed. I can text well, but I can't really start conversations. Like, uh, for a while, I was doing uh, private messages for subjects of certain videos I like. That kind of stopped due to the fact that I also got very busy with this. <laughs> I'm focusing on this now pretty much full time. But. I do really want to communicate with you guys in the community. I just can't get myself out there. And that's why one of the things in my 
bio says, feel free to comment. You know, I'll strike up a conversation. If you send me a private message, if you comment on my videos, I will talk back to you. We can strike up an amazing conversation if you want, or a quick one. Uh, it's one of the major reasons why I started being a content creator in the first place was due to the fact that I wanted to build a community within myself, make friends, like-minded people, and not have to be afraid. So if you ever wonder why I don't, I mean, I, I do watch a lot of videos and I do upvote and subscribe if I like it. Uh, a lot of times I don't have time to go off randomly and vid me and check stuff up. So if somebody subscribes to me, I check out their channel. If I like their channel, and I will watch every one of their videos, or at least attempt to, uh, I will watch every one of their videos. If I like the video, I will upvote it, and I will subscribe to you at the end, and then every time a new video comes out, I try to find time to watch those. I don't comment on them, and I'm sorry to you guys who might have wanted me to comment on your videos. I really wish I could, but <sighs> one step at a time. Um... Uh, so, to the community, I'm here if you want to talk. Other than that, I think that pretty much explains what VidMe is. A little talk to the community, a little talk to the people who created it. So, now let's move into a little bit more specific and special and dive into the 25 followers on VidMe. Now to the real meat of this video, the 25 followers on VidMe. Now be it, I'm growing a lot faster and I've already actually hit 50 subscribers on VidMe, so uh, in a season or two I'll have to do a uh, celebration video on 50 followers, but right now this is to the original 25 followers and anybody that is following me now. Thank you very much for taking the time to subscribe. Well, you haven't subscribed to me. <laughs> to following me. Uh, definitely without you guys, I wouldn't have reignited my passion. I mean, I had no problem recording this all on Twitch, sending it over to YouTube. I had no problem with this. But I had kind of given up and quit on the special episodes for a bit. Until you guys kind of pushed me back into it. And I wanted to do this again. I just didn't want to do the Let's Plays. I wanted to do the special episodes. I wanted to do so much more. You guys have probably not even started to see Rose Play Presents yet. I do apologize for that. Um, I'm kind of saving them for when I kind of run out of videos so that we can still post videos every day for a while. So I do apologize for that. Now, on Rose Play Presents, I thought about making it to my subscribers only on here. But how is that fair when you can go watch it on YouTube for free, watch it on Twitch for free when I get that far? So, I just have to say that anybody who does actually subscribe to me, and that's nobody right now, anybody that tips me, I want to let you guys know where your money is going to go. If you guys were, it would go towards more games. It might go to advancing the office a bit more, or the equipment. And... That's pretty much it. I, I can't I can't promise you guys anything. So no obligation to subscribe, no obligation to tip. It's appreciated, but it's not my main concern. What I appreciate is that you guys followed me, that you guys have stuck through with me, and you guys have helped me want to redo stuff outside the Let's Play again. So to you guys, I definitely give a big salute. And also thank you for following me. Because if some of you, not all of you, because some of you I, I thought your content was okay but wasn't my thing. And don't get me wrong, your content was good. I loved everybody's content who followed me. But just like everybody else, I have certain tastes. So to those who did follow me, I've watched your videos. I've just, I followed the ones that I do enjoy. And you guys are amazing. I love watching what each and every one of you have to do. Um, I do want to give a quick shout out to a few of my followers, the ones that I really enjoy watching, and that is Drayson, first of all. Drayson's, Drayson's a content creator here on VidMe who 
we have nice little conversations every once in a while. And it's what I wanted from my content creation is being able to have conversations with people. And he does contact with me every once in a while through my videos. So I do appreciate that very much. We have some nice conversations. And like I said in the previous video, I definitely would like to talk to y'all. I just have slight problems. And when you guys comment to me, I can comment back. Um, the next person I'd want to kind of give a shout out to is that guy with power or something with power. Um, his name's Bill. I absolutely love his content. I love his uh, late night reviews. Can't wait for season two. His vlogs are interesting. I love how he still throws a lot of gaming in. And that's one of my main quirks is that I love everything to do with gaming. So the fact that even most of his vlogs involve something to do with gaming, whether books, going to some place in New York when he went to visit, just, it's amazing. And even the ones that aren't video game related are still fun. Um, congratulations on being married. Um, really good for that. And then Rogue Edge Entertainment, or Rebel Edge Entertainment. My, my fault. Jason and me uh, do talk privately every once in a while, or we have. We haven't for a while. I love that he was trying, that he's trying to do something different on VidMe. So, much props to him. And... God, I bet you there's so many more of you I want to actually talk about, but those are the three that come to my mind right now. So, you guys are amazing. All my followers are amazing. I love most of your guys' content. And within a season or two, I'll be back to celebrate the 50 subscribe or 50 followers. I'm nowhere near that for YouTube. So, you guys will get your own video this time. It won't come back to... Well, crap, I got 25 subscribers and 25 followers at the same time. What do I do? Let's just combine them together, but nobody knows what VidMe is, Orion. Well, they do now. So, I'd like to end this video thanking everybody once again. You're my heart and soul. You're the reason why I, I game on these hardest difficulties and do what I do. Without you guys, I would still do it, but... I wouldn't feel the love that I do, even from the select few and what little I do have. So, on the next Celebrate, VidMe followers, you will get your own exclusive celebration. But for now, I have to let everybody go from every site that watches this. And when we come back, it'll be the season finale of season 11. Wow, season finale. I never thought those words would come out of my mouth with how hard Evil Within was for me. But it is there. We'll be back with the season finale and review show of The Evil Within on Akuma difficulty, Kariyama difficulty, and Cheek Trick difficulty for uh, the final DLC. So, until next time, remember, keep gaming, never give up, and to the 50 people plus all over all the sites, Thank you very much. My content will continue, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Until then, peace out.